Got that down. Get up a little bit. Can't really use that in the mud. Uh, because those are not drive wheels. They are just carry weight. But it does help on the hard ground. Like uh, hard roads or dirt areas. I learned that in my limited experience with this truck. We're also not breaking wheels. Yeah, I gotta get this down here quick and battle gas. Not too good. Damn. So maybe it parked a truck in the road. With a trailer. Should be worth a little bit of money. And I don't have to back it. It will disappear. Yeah, 3,000. So that'll open up a few more missions. And I'm not that far away from doing the cargo apocalypse and the cargo apocalypse two, which will really bring in the cash. So the truck did okay. So let's head back up here, change the tires on it. Oh no, yeah. No, not tires, but I changed the saddle on it and see if I can hook up to that gooseneck uh, ramped flatbed. Uh, there are some trucks that, uh, even though you put a low saddle on them, or a high saddle, you still can't haul some of the trailers. So I want to check and make sure this one will work before I drive it all the way over to... Yeah. Tree. Yeah, a telephone. And a tree. Tree I don't know. Yeah. But uh, before I drive it all the way over to Hedro, to pick up that trailer. I wish you could put a crane, a loading crane on this. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the. Uh, uh, I know what the problem is. Set back down on the wheels properly. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the third axle on here and putting a crane on here, loading. Three gallons, I have enough. Go 
building. So I am planning on probably next weekend. Uh, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the Long Dark uh, story mode. I have to practice a little bit more. I got on earlier today. And I haven't played the game in a while. And realized I am real rusty at it. So let's find the trailer. Goose neck. And it looks like I can buy it. I'm not going to because if I buy it, I can't sell it. So I don't want to waste the money on it. So the other mission that I have to accomplish is the Reclamation mission, which I think is the one over on Pedro Bay. I'll check it out. Let's get out the mud. So for cargo apocalypse, which is what I want to get, I have to do cargo delivery. And cargo delivery. It's more some mining. Before I do that, I have to do pipeline repair and service hub reactivation. So pipeline repair is the one, the two metal beams over Pedro Bay. So I gotta get take care of those. And it is tracking. Excellent. So let's head over to Pedro. Because if I get some of these some of those done. Then, like I said, the cargo apocalypse. Let's start running that, and that pays really well. So let me get the E12 a little bit faster. Oh, you like the long dark? Do you play the long dark, or have you just watched it? Because episode four came out this week. And I watched Accurize 2. I watched him play the first hour of it. I was like, man, I, I gotta I can't watch him anymore till I get through it. Because I wanna do it. Oh, you're early adopter. Only played in survival mode? Yeah, I played in survival mode. I did a whole series on the YouTube channel. This is the first series that I did. Uh, a noob's journey in the long dark. Had a lot of fun doing it. Then SnowRunner came out, and uh, I kind of got caught up in it. And I was really waiting on episode 4 to come out. So episode 4 is now out. And I can go ahead and do the first four episodes in story mode because I've never done story mode. But before I do that I have to relearn the controls. I just need to sit for a couple of hours and do a quick run through of it and then jump into story.
Yeah, I like that game. It was uh, it's a pretty fun game. Matter of fact, I have maps printed out of all the regions. I am no expert by any means. And... Oh, oh sorry, I had to stretch. So, playing it in the hardest survival mode, I've tried that and it kicked my butt. I think I survived like 14 days. But it will be a good break from snow running. Yeah, not a total break, just Mix it up a little bit, play a little bit of both. We're still wanting to get out of it. But it's not nice. Fuel tank. Two fuel tankers over here. And I had better. Oh, second there, I thought I pulled that fuel tanker out of here. Go ahead and top it off. I'm going to bring this truck over here so I don't have a crane on it. So I'm trying not to auto load anything. That'll go through the money quick. And I learned how to use a crane for a reason. So I wouldn't have to auto load. And one thing I am going to do when I get back, when I get over to the Yukon, I am going to use the forklifts more often. I used them a little bit, got used to the controls, and then they changed the controls on me, and I just didn't fool with them anymore. But I do need to use them. every advantage in every vehicle I can get my hands on. I wish there was a way for the forklifts that once you pick up a load you can lock it in place. Because you really can't travel with cargo on the forklift. It just every little bump will throw the cargo off. Got you. Get that. Nope, there you go. That's the bridge. Done that way? I am going this way. Another reason I want to do this mission is it will free up that trailer. And it's the only big trailer you get in this region. Any other trailer you gotta buy.
Or was Bridgedale Network? No. That's the way I would go to get the, and I still haven't got it, the uh, advanced special gears. There's my metal beams. Oh, I'm gonna be so pissed if it says I can't hook up to it. Next time I'm at the garage, I'm gonna get those mud flaps off there. Stick out a little further than the tires do. Sometimes you can get them jammed up in trees. There we go. So is that four or five slot? Four slot. And I need to take it over to the pipeline, which I have not cleared that yet, so I have to come down through here. Also, I haven't done that bridge yet. And I gotta do it. Have to do it in order to get to the big money. Then I can get my big crane. Which I can get the big crane now, but I like running the big crane on the P12. Because it can go about anywhere. And it's pretty stable. High gear's not gonna work. Now this is gonna be tricky. And it doesn't have to be. So let's just go ahead and take care of this roadblock up. Get that done because I have the BM-17 just sitting over there. It can run over and I think it's wood that I need. And it can just bring the wood back. Or bring it over. up here then try to find it. So that is Orson's Landslide. Orson's Landslide and two wooden planks. So that's what I'll do. That way I don't have to take the trailer through that narrow pass. And like I said, I've got the BM-17 sitting over, just getting ready to do, actually, a wood mission. BM-17. And it's close to the lumber yard anyway. So we'll do that. And I can use BM-17 to get some of the... Uh, upgrades over here. I've fallen into my bad habits of just running all over the maps, doing whatever mission I'm near. Left. Ooh, yes. 
Should have enough to go down here and get the wood and then come up for gas. Hopefully. We'll just keep following the road to go back up. It'll be shorter. Uh-oh. <laughs> Chain tires didn't help me there. Got a little light in the buttocks. But I'm about ready to fix that. Get a load on here. Settle this truck down a little bit. I've heard people say they hate to manually load because it's so hard. It's really not that hard. It just takes practice. And I don't care if it's sideways. And I don't have enough fuel to sit and play with it. Run out to the left. I know the road is blocked up here, but I can get around that. Good. Nope, nope. Keep on task. I say I could go over and get this upgrade. But keep it on task. Go in here and discover this. That way I can see what's in there. I don't think there's anything behind this. But we'll double check. Nope, nothing back there. Alright, so we got a pipeline down up here, so I can't go up that way. The only way around it is to go this way. And come up the other way. further up. Wouldn't quite reach. It. 
here. There was some power down there. All else fails, more power. 15 gallons. I do need to pull this fuel tanker out. Let's go ahead and get it. It has more fuel in it. trailer discovered and if I get an XP for it it means it belongs to me with all of its contents all that precious fuel it's fuel I don't have to buy Huh, it actually went over the pipe instead of through the pipe. Take you to the gas station. Start to park it right there, but I'm going to need that for one of the big trailers. I'm going to need that extra room. So, pull it around this way. And a full tank again. So, mess around. If you want to get that, you want to try this, and you want to do a co-op, send me a message sometime, and we'll see if we can't get together and do it. I don't think it's as buggy in the first region as it is in the later regions. Might run into a bug or two, but I don't think it's anything we couldn't work through. slow thing you Pedro Bay Alaska now that truck looks like the MK 38 I don't know why they don't have a an attachment a uh, why you can't put a saddle on it Because I know I drove these in the military with hitches on them. So I pulled a uh, 5,000 gallon fuel tanker with one. That was my main vehicle when I was stationed at Fort Stewart, Georgia. That 
That was after my deuce and a half got dropped. I had a deuce and a half tractor. And the reason I got it was because nobody else wanted to drive it. And that was my opportunity to get license on a tractor trailer. I said they would license me on it if I drive it. And boy, was it hard to drive. It had no power steering to it. So imagine driving a tractor trailer with no power steering. Underpowered uh, tractor trailer with no power steering. Right. So now we'll take the dairy longhorn over. A little bit easier on ourselves. But anyway, the uh, deuce and a half that I had, it would run absolutely beautifully in the motor pool. I could drive around in the motor pool. We had a big motor pool. So I could drive it around all day long. Truck never missed a step. It ran perfectly. I pulled out the gate and it would run and then stop, run and stop, run and stop. So I would fool with it when we go to the field. I would get it out to the field, but it usually broke down and had to be towed back. So one time they decided they were going to, uh, we were supposed to sling out some, uh, some uh, ammunition under a Chinook. But the pilots needed something for recertification. They needed to sling out a vehicle. And they decided, hey, we'll just you know, send my deuce and a half out. Sling it under the... Yeah, going the right way. Uh, to send it back to the rear so it could get repairs. And it was hilarious. We hooked it all up. And the chopper came in, picked it up, and if you've ever seen or been involved in sling out operations, one of the things they tell you is that if the, whatever they're hauling, if it starts swinging, they'll drop it. And they have no problem dropping it because it's, you know, they would rather drop it than lose the aircraft. And we watched it go on top of a hill. So we could see a good bit and started seeing it swing. And well, we hooked it up right, but it was, I guess the winds were too high. And it started swinging and they dropped that sucker. So that's when it was totally destroyed. It was just pieces laying all over the ground. But we got all that cleaned up and got back to the rear and about a week later they assigned me another truck. I like that one. Power steering. It had the self-inflating tires. It's like going from driving a broken down Beetle to driving a Cadillac. Uh, very tempted. Uh, not doing that mission, but if I go through those trees there, there's a curtain side trailer. I'm tempted to grab that curtain side trailer. Leany Road. I'll grab the curtside trailer and bring it along with me. But I will wait. Again, I'm like a puppy sometimes. New shiny thing I gotta go after. Instead of staying on mission.
it is part of my charm. I was wondering if maybe I could pull one of the big fuel tankers up on here. If I could get it up here, would it pack? I don't know. I might need a crane for that. It's something to test out, though. When I get the P-12 and get the big crane on it. Seeing if I could pick up one of the fuel tankers and set it on here. Like I said, I think it'd be too long. Back. That dog. More money. up here and uh, just open this area up. I do have a fuel tanker up here. Discover. And that's over there. Oh, really? You won't let me drive up there? Yeah, then we'll check. And that one is full. So I've got that area discovered. I could drive down. The bridge needs wood. Can get wood here. I could just auto load. Go ahead and spend the cash on it. So I can get the semi through there. And then go ahead and take care of that bridge. It'd be four wooden planks and that is dangerous route and really I wouldn't be getting much money but I would open up that route there and I guess it's something to do needs four so that would be six hundred dollars which means I'd only make five hundred Betting five hundred dollars is better than back into hand. Still say these things should disappear. Once you knock them down, shouldn't have to fool with them again. We don't need to keep coming back. I 
Uh, should I or should I not? I'm going to do it. I'll just auto load them. Since I don't have a cray. Actually, I do have a cray. It's just far away. Ask for it will load. I try to avoid that as much as possible. Because I don't like spending the money. But it's still 500 bucks. Every little bit helps. It's almost a tank of gas. This one, so I don't hit the telephone pole. Shouldn't actually get anywhere near it. That'll be four. Six hundred dollars down, but oh well. I think it's worth it just to speed up the process a little bit and I don't do it very often there's already even driving wheels now that wasn't nice that deep. Shortcut that turn. I actually kind of like in this truck. I didn't use it so much. Should have been using it more often. And I missed the turn, didn't I? Yeah, I should have went across here. Should have actually came down this way, loaded up and went across here, but now I have to go. Don't want to go down there. Since I've got this open, I'll just go up the main road. And go in that way. And then I've got to go complete the other mission. Two other missions. Open up the cargo apocalypse.
Because if I can do the one and two, and then there's one after it, that'll give me about 90,000. Close to it. to back this thing out of there. Which is much easier said than done. But I fell up to the challenge. I went and dropped off the U-Haul trailer that I've rented uh, this morning and asked the guy where he wanted it and he said well I'd like to have it between those two trailers but you can't put it over there he said I'm gonna have to get something to move one of the other trailers out I looked at him and said no you don't I can put it in that space and I actually had to pull forward twice to get it lined up right once I tried to get it in there but after I got in I looked and there were about four inches on either side of the trailer and the guy looked at me and he said how did you get that in there practice <clears throat> that can do the whole trailer backing up thing actually just back it up in there So, a little bit of money. How far is... Got an upgrade right here that I can get. No, stay on task. I've got things. Let's get you around that first start turning you in. And I'll need a scout to do the mountains road. Alright, so which one was next? Uh, let's just start here. So I need the cargo delivery. there. Cargo delivery, I need to do the service hub reactivation. And that is concrete blocks and two consumables over here. Consumables, I know where they're at. I'm not sure about the concrete blocks. Uh, let's see. Do I get concrete blocks over here? don't have it located right but I do know a way that I can find out and for those of you that don't know if you go on the old intranet and you look up map runner it will show you all of these maps get my phone will work right here so Alaska, Pedro Bay
anything there. Nope, it's a hidden tag. So I get consumables and concrete blocks. So the factory and the warehouse over here, I can get those. Which means turning around again. service hub reactivation and I have it so I gotta bring them over here and since I haven't discovered I've got a factory I think factories here yep there's a factory and the warehouse is over in here that up. And I will not auto load this one. I'm going to bring the BM-17 over. Load this up. Actually, it might be easier just using the BM-17. Eh, who cares about easy? I want to use my new bridge. And go through the hell that is this mud pit. Instead of doing that, let's go around it. I have been getting so many telemarker calls today, it is unreal. Keep wanting to talk to me about Social Security. I'm old, but I ain't that old. High gear does not seem to want to work in this truck. And the BM-17, come over and pull that out. Deliver it. Oh no. I gotta do something with this before I can get the consumables.
There's also power lines that I need to take care of. I can't get around them. Normally I can get around them. I haven't tried with this truck yet. I do believe it's up to the task. Though. know from past experience you cannot drive over this pole. You see it up ahead of me. Because it will damage the crap out of your vehicle. Stay in the snow. Slide right on around. Alright, so I may have to run back for consumables. I'm not that far away. I think this is concrete blocks. Mac and drowned car. What is that again? Uh, Hunter managed to ruin his truck in the swamp while chasing a moose. We'd send a tow truck, but they're all out on another job. I accept it. It must be the Hummer one. And concrete blocks, and that's all I can Consumables are not that far away. It's at the service area on the other map. Just take me a minute to get there. And while it's doing all that, I will see what that mission is. Factory loading. Family treasures. Old Mac. Ah, I don't know why or which mission it is that I have to do to get consumables. It would be an access to location mission. And right now I don't want to take the time to look for it. It's probably something simple. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been in Alaska. I remember a lot of things, but not everything. I'm thinking I could get consumables here. So spare parts and consumables. I 
and far enough away from the dock, I don't have to worry about being flipped over. So many times I've flipped the truck over by being too close to the dock and deploying the crane. Supervisors present. And we're rolling out again. I'm going to need some gas. Share a little bit of gas with the very Longhorn. Fuel up. 